Hey guys, my name is Sidney Egg and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 where today your boy has made it all the way home to the United Kingdom. Last time we played this guys, I made a huge global, well, I wouldn't say global, but a huge profitable transportation company in the whole of the United States of America. Well, I've decided to sell up that company. I've invested two million big ones right now. I'm not sure why it's into dollars. It should be into pounds, but we don't talk about that right now. And I've come back to the UK where your boy is going to try and build my very own, oh my goodness me, I'm all over the place right now, my very own uh, transportation company. There we go. <laughs> uh, this is the whole of the UK right now, the whole of the United Kingdom uh, of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and it also does include Ireland as well. Uh, this is England, we've got a little bit of Wales. I think it just starts to slightly lag as you get a little bit more north to, um, to, to Scotland right now and into the Highlands because of the amount of trees that are currently on the map. We have Northern Ireland over here, and a normal mainland island. Yes, it's a different country, guys. Don't get triggered. Um, so this is going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting because we have limited space to work with because it is a small little island. The towns and cities are quite close together because, again, limited space. And people don't realize how mountainous and how bumpy and how uneven the United Kingdom is. Uh, so it's going to be quite difficult and uh, quite uh, interesting to see how we have to con conturve or no make the train lines and roads follow the con natural contours of the land especially when we get to scotland that's going to be quite a challenge as well so we're here right now we're going to invest this money and we're going to build our transportation company in the united kingdom now before we jump into it i just want to say guys if you do enjoy transport fever 2 and really want to see uh more of this and how this progresses then smash that like button down below subscribe if you are new so you get notified when more episodes of this do come out and please like the the video down below guys it really does help me out now being from the uk i always have to i mean this wouldn't be a cineac series if it didn't start in my hometown right now and i feel like we need to grow birmingham to its full potential we really 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 do and that's probably where i'm going to start my journey today now i've got two million big ones apparently we lost like 800 or 900 million I think that's down to whoever created this map is what they had to spend to get this, you know, the, the map as it is. But I got two million big ones, and it's all in the form of a bank loan. That in itself is going to be interesting. Um, we have London down here, which is congested. It's like real life. There is congestion for days. Now, London itself, uh, whoa, the target population 600 already. Um, okay. Are all the cities like that? Reading? No, 90. Oxford, 90. Cambridge, 90. Sheffield, 170. Birmingham, 600. Oh my goodness me. So Birmingham and London are about to go into steroid mode as soon as I press play. So, right, okay. That's interesting. So we've got to figure out then how we are going to attempt to do this. Now, what I normally like to do is to try and get something set up that's going to make me a bit of cash that will then fund the future expansion. So I just technically need uh, to make some cash. Now, 2 million, we're going to see how far that pretty much goes. But 2 million is about 20 grand a year in, in loan payments. So I need to make a line that not only makes enough money to pay for all the expenses and maintenance of that line, pay for all the maintenance and expenses of the infrastructure, but then also make an extra 20 grand on top of all of that to pay for the loan as well. Now, I think to be able to do that, we have to look towards maybe setting up a train line first. Now, there's a couple of options I can do. I could straight up just go up passenger line and do a nice little line that goes from Birmingham to London. I can make it go through Cambridge as well. A nice little kind of little semicircle. Um, that could be interesting. Now, unlike Railway Empire 2, I'm going to show Cambridge a little bit of love. <laughs> um, or I have this couple of oil wells over here. An oil refinery and a fuel one just there as well. So that also could be quite interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So I won't press play just yet because my expenses will come into effect. But let's let's build a little train line in Birmingham. And let's see what we can kind of get done with this. So I'm going to delete this real quick. All right, that's now all gone. We're going to get a, a street. How much to build a street from here to here? Nearly 70 grand? What? 
That's an expensive street. Right, I'm going to have to go over it anyway because I want to build a train line or a train station here first. So passenger... Oh my goodness me, this is going to be expensive, isn't it, guys? This is going to be expensive. So if I built you here, how long do I go? No, I think we'll keep it nice and small to begin with. So if I build a train station... Oh my... I'm on a hill as well, aren't I? Yeah, okay. okay. How big is this hill? It's a little bit of a mound. Right, we're going to build just here. We'll build just there. Right, and we'll send this into Cambridge, which will have... And I'll delete this. They're not going to be happy, but it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, I'm going to build this here. So the train station is going to come Birmingham to London via Oxford. Um, Cambridge. Oh, no. I'm already getting the wrong names. <laughs> And then we'll bring it down to London here, which, again, I'm going to build a road. Now, they live on the residential side over here, which I might have to uh, think about setting up bridges, road networks. Oh, my goodness me. There's a lot we've got to do, isn't there? There's going to be a lot we've got to do. So if I just bring that to there... For now, it will be like it, it. It will be an end station, but it won't be an end station. It will be, you know, a pass through route, but we'll treat it as an end station for now. And I'll put this just here because it gives me room to extend the line and then eventually build a bridge that will go over. <laughs> oh, good god! So I've spent a million already, but now I'm going to spend even more money trying to get these train lines to now technically connect. So. Let's try and set up our train line. Now, I won't involve any cargo in this just yet. I won't involve any cargo. So, I won't set up the station to how I would normally set it up. So, saying that then, I'm just going to leave it as it is. We'll leave it as it is. Uh, get out of here, Siri. No one's talking to you. No one's talking to you right now. So, what I need to do is I need to bring... Oh, my goodness. What's going on? Where am I? I've got to bring this... Pretty much down in this direction to connect up. Now, how much that's going to build a bridge? Oh my goodness me, this is going to be expensive. So, right, can I can I view the topography, please? This is why it makes this so interesting. <laughs> this is why it makes building in the UK so interesting right now. So, okay, we're going to try and get it to run a straight line like this. Which it's going to cost me nearly 300k to do so. I can definitely see myself having to get an, an additional loan. So we'll build that there. So we've got a nice straight little bit of line. And it then just wants to create a huge bridge leading out. So if I went to here. Right, I'll have to delete that road. It's the road to the industry. <laughs> so I don't want the bridge. So he goes from 200k to 300k. Whoa, is it cheaper to build the bridge? Right, if I went to here. Right, that was cheaper. To so slightly dig it in and then elevate it slightly up. So for the Birmingham connection then. If I went straight like that, 900 big ones. Expensive, cannot afford it. So we're first going to come out slightly straight-ish. Well then, how big how big is the bend? That digs in slightly, 200k. I'll accept that. So getting off the contours right now, you can see the line that goes from Birmingham straight into uh, Cambridge. But... But, 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 we now got to go up a big hill again to get into London. Oh my goodness me. So the topography again, you can see where it kind of takes place. I could bring it around this way or kind of make it go up that way in. Which is probably, because if I went like this, if I, if I went for a straight connection, 800k to tear through as a tunnel. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that right now. So it might be a case of... We come out slightly. So we'll go to here. 
We'll try and make our way slightly up. Which I don't think that's going to work out very well. We might have needed to be uh, inclining from the get-go. So train line. So if I went here... And brought that down. It's a lot cheaper. We are going to have to pull out an additional loan. That tail passed here because we could then form a station down here as well. But I'm going to delete just there. And then, um, this is the things, right? You got to watch the bends, but at this point, the bends don't really matter. We're going to borrow another 500k. And I think I'm going to delete this back a bit more. Yeah, we'll go. Actually, you know what? I'll delete all this. And then we'll bring you out, run the train line just to here to go in. So I won't do a double lane uh, for the train line. We'll keep it nice and simple. I don't know if that was a, a good idea to go this way around. I could have just went straight and then down, seeing as I've now got myself a little bit of a loan. But I think the gradient's slightly better. So it might work out for us. It might work out. But from Birmingham to Cambridge down into London, nice little back and forth right now. Hoping that this will work out. Now, we're going to need a train depot. So, realizing the height on that is crazy. Right, I'm going to buy a train depot. We'll put it just here. And bring it in. Because this is all I can afford, is one train going back and forth right now. That's technically all I'm going to be able to afford. Now, I do need to connect this to over here, because that's where we see... The majority of where the residents live so the flattening tool let's want to bring this out so i can create a bridge not possible apparently why is it not possible is it because why is it not possible actually all right we're gonna add a little bit more There's the embankment right now. Can it really not create a bridge? So I wonder why I can't create a bridge here. Do you reckon this is too low, this road? Right, I know London's going to grow... Oh, I can't even delete it. Okay, we're going to have to just take it on the chin right now until I can afford to delete it all. I don't want to spend that type of cash. But then again, I do have to then borrow more money. So do you know what? I want to borrow the cash right now, which is ridiculous of how much I've done just borrowed. Right, just to delete you. To build that across. Oh, it could have been the connection there. So building that across. Nice little bridge. All this is just so I can get the uh, a closer pedestrian crossing pass. And I'm hoping it alleviates the traffic a bit more. So, where do I have issues then? I have issues with connecting London to Brighton and Oxford and Reading. I think that's to do with this road that I kind of technically deleted. So, I do have to bring this back in. Is it cheaper to do a dirt road? I'd argue yes. That solves that there. The traffic will stop for my train to pass through. So, another reason why I had to get another loan is because I need to uh, pay for a train. Oh my goodness me, this is expensive, guys. This is going to be expensive. So, I don't have electric, no diesel. It's pure steam. So, oh, I'm already stressed. I'm already stressed. Passenger-wise, I've only got one coach, uh, which capacity of six... So we'll go for a, a 60 capacity. 
36. I need more money. Oh, no, this is a bad idea. Uh, right, that's going to cost me a million. Right, I've got I've got the vehicle. I now need to create the line. So Birmingham to Cambridge to London, back to Cambridge. La di da di da. <laughs> right, set this on the line. So we'll pull it into play mode for the first time, and we're, we're going to now officially see how much money we now lose. Um, I'll rename this line real quick. I'm going to call it Birmingham to London. Nice. Now, the reason I've done this passenger route, you're probably thinking, Saniac, that was that was literally suicide right there, what you've now done. I'll be honest with you. When we found out that the target population was 600 plus 20%, which is 720, and the fact that with residents of 333, <laughs> London and Birmingham are about to go for a huge boom right now. They're about to go for a, few, a, huge, a huge growth spurt. So I thought I could try and capitalize on the passenger route, but I'm thinking... The distance that they must now travel is going to be a little bit chaotic and hectic. Plus, we've got to wait for the passengers to get to the stations. Now, no one's waiting in London, but you can see the radius in which London spreads to. Literally only here. That could be a bad idea as well. Uh, Cambridge is probably the only one that's decently connected to any residential area. Uh, so, we might need to grab... Another loan. I'm now up to 5 million on my loans. <laughs> I'm now up to 5 million. And now we just wait and hope for the growth to come. We've got people waiting in Cambridge already. No one's in London yet. Oh no, is this a bad idea? Is this a bad idea? Because the other side of it is... Set up a bus route in these cities. But it all depends on how much the cities now grow. This is what we... I'm, I'm kind of heavily awaiting the cities to grow. There's nobody on board right now. And it's about to pick up five people. Where's the train? Choo-choo. So, let's see how many people it picks up. This could be literally the worst thing in the world it picks up seven people so does it navigate this okay getting up here was it the was it the right idea to go round the hill the, rather than straight up it the speed is slightly slowing down but i don't think it's enough to cause many any issues down to 19 back to 20 so it only drops down to 19 in speed so it won't really make much cash right here and there is no one to pick up, so we're going to have to do some form of a bus route. But I want to see what these seven people bring to this line. This is what I want to find out. So here we go. 19,000 big ones. A small drop of the water. There's actually somebody waiting at Birmingham right now. So we're going to try and bring people over here now. And it's going to be quite congested with all of this but for a vehicle route we're going to do a bus stop so we'll start here i'll put it on this side so we go around this way and then we can run down this area and then just there right so it's a simple route simple loop Right, put it into play mode so I don't spend money too quick. London Loop, we'll call it. <laughs> the London Loop, baby. The London Loop. And then we need a road depot, which I'll put slightly out of the city a little bit. Now, this could actually make money. So, passenger carries four. And how many for, let's just say, three of them? 71,000. Let's go on the London Loop. So, people should be waiting. People should start waiting. And it should become quite a popular route. Because it leads them to 
the train station, but I need to then apply the same logic, which means getting another loan right now for Birmingham. Now, I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. And I'm going to tear through here, which is all my money. Oh, snap. Hold on. Delete that. I should have done it in a straight line. Right, another loan's needed. It's important that I do this because this is going to be the straight run connection to the train station, which opens up to a little bit more connectivity to the residential. A little bit more connectivity, which the roads upgrade. And I think that alone might be able to uh, bring more people over. Let's see what happens on that. Or it might just be a case of uh, I build a bus loop over there. So they're picking up the people, which hopefully will bring them to the train station. We've got one person currently waiting. But my first lot of uh, carts are on the way over. That didn't really have anybody on board. That one's got four people on board right now. So I'm hoping those four people, you know, transfer over to the train station. Let's see where they walk. Oh, I don't think all of them are going over here. There's one. To the train station? Yes. Seven people are now waiting. Right, so I've got to do the same thing in Birmingham now. There's no ifs, no buts about it. So finances, we've made 42k. So back into play mode then. And we're going to set up some little loops right now for the bus stops. So bus stop just here. So we'll go in and around. So we'll do one there. We'll do one there. One there. One there. Now, it, it doesn't really make much sense because they could get filled up on the first stop because they can only carry four passengers at once. You know what I mean? So, but I'm giving them the option. Birmingham Loop. If they think they can connect to over here, then it may it will bring the passengers over. So we've got our Birmingham Loop. We now need to buy a bunch of vehicles. So Road Depot, again, slightly pull it out of the city. I'll put it over here. This will allow the city to grow a little bit more. And we'll go... I'm going to go for five vehicles here for passenger. I mean, I'm going to buy another two for London. So the Birmingham Loop. There we go. Buy another two for London. Because we had three on the London one. So London Loop. Because there is quite a few passengers waiting at these stations. Now, hopefully that brings the people in. So now it's a case of the train itself should have more passengers to now carry. Every time it gets to a station. That should be the logic behind that. That should be the logic behind it. Now there's quite a few people. Oh, there's 21 ready to go to London right now. Okay, so this is where we should make the money. It might get to a point where there's that many people waiting at Birmingham and London that it can't pick anybody up in Cambridge because the train's full. I mean, that's a, that's a good problem to have. But it's something we've got, be, we've got to be wary of. So we're into Cambridge, Jim. Uh, does anybody get off here? No. no. <laughs> Nobody wants to get to Cambridge from Birmingham. But the train's almost full anyway. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see how much it now makes getting to London. There's eight people currently waiting. And that number should increase as more um, horse and carts make their way over here. Now 11. There's 106. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> That's a lot of people. So how many is currently here right now? 14. 14 people are going to be heading back. Might be a few more by the time we get it all done. So how much does it make now ending here? 110,000. Which put my... This year, where it's making more money than expenses. Only for this moment in time. So hopefully we can turn that round. Now if I check my, uh, my finances. 
But this is currently how it is. The problem we've got is... We're going to be fully loaded here. So we can't pick up anybody here. Which is why we need more buses, if you want to call them buses, on the route. But this is now heading back with a 16 on board. So we're just right now waiting for it to get to, get to Cambridge and then wait for it to go back to Birmingham. 19,000 big ones. Loading up with 34 on board. So this will have a cap in which how much money it can potentially make until we need to add more carriages to it. But if that train line can become profitable, then it's a winner. Unless I then start figuring out how uh, and setting up um, multiple trains on the same route. So 17. Oh, this is a, a, quite a little gradient here, isn't it? But it's at 18, 19. So it is picking up the speed a little bit more. Now, in Birmingham, we have 66 people waiting. And there's so many people on the bus routes. Now, while this is a problem, while this is a problem, it's also quite a good thing. Because it means the buses will always be making money. But it doesn't mean they make money because they can get filled up here and then only make money when they get back. It's it's an annoying little system, but hey-ho. Right, finance on this. Then we made the most money we've ever made so far. And we're bringing lots of people back to Birmingham right now. So I want to see how much this makes on the way back. And then we got to maybe start adding the odd additional carriage or two. But again, we need to make money first. <clears throat> so train is now arriving. Bam! 169,000, which is more than it made on the previous year. <laughs> so much, in fact, it, uh, in fact, it put us into the green slightly. The road's making profit, so we're spending 60 grand a year on our loan. Right. Interesting. Interesting. So, hopefully that train works out. So, I feel like we've had to kind of dig deep slightly, but I feel like it will slightly work out as well. London's getting bigger and bigger, by the way, guys. And is Birmingham getting bigger? Where's Birmingham? There we go. London's definitely getting bigger as well. Birmingham's getting bigger. It's not quite at its target population. Wow, the target population's over a thousand already. Oh my goodness, this is disgusting. We're going to be growing disgustingly quick at this point, right, aren't we? We really are. What about London? Not as high, but again, because the train line's not perfectly allocated to the centre. So, how are we doing here, anyway? I don't think we're even touching anybody there, because as soon as a horse and cart drives away, it's currently filled up. So, I think we need more horse and carts, but then again, there's only so much I can carry on the train. So, you can't win either way. Right, train's getting into Cambridge. Doesn't make as much cash, because not many people want to go to Cambridge. So, once it gets to uh, London, I'm hoping it makes enough cash... That I can edit the uh, vehicle. So if I edit the selected vehicle to maybe add one additional carriage on. But that's saying i got to have 140000 in the bank. I could get some more loans. Nothing stopping me doing that. But it does then mean more outgoings. So, waiting for this right now. Two hundred k. Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough. Okay. Right. What we'll do? We'll borrow another million. Right. And, and this is for a good reason. Okay. We're gonna try. Well, we, first, first things first. We're gonna add additional two carriages to it. So it now carries fifty four. Okay. That's important. That's important. And then we're gonna try and set up a system right now so first what we're gonna do is add more vehicles to the bus routes so we'll add number five on the london loop because we got a vast amount of people waiting at these stations we do need to move them about which will bring more passengers to the train line 
We'll do the exact same thing over here in Birmingham. Actually, how many people are waiting at these stations? Yes, quite a lot. We'll buy five more. So on the Birmingham loop, there we go. So that'll bring a lot more people over. Now the train stopped in Cambridge, is it filled up? Almost filled up. So the finances, we've made quarter of a million this year. That's glorious. That really is glorious. Now, I could start building little sections in the track. Rather than building the full length of the network to do double lines, I can build like little um, sections where they pull over and then pull back in. You know what I mean? But, uh... If I did that, I still can't afford to buy a second train. But let's see what happens anyway. All right. The horse and carts are coming in. We don't really make huge amounts of money on these stops. But it is bringing a lot more people here anyway. That had nobody on board. That's got one, four people on board. Four run. So I think that one had nobody on board because it, it's, it's the first time it's doing its loop. Or well, that was the first stop for it. Um, right, the train's coming in right now. So how much money does it make? Let me check the finances. You ready? Quarter of a million. Oh my goodness me. Disgusting behavior. <laughs> and it's going back with a full train again. So I can definitely 100% build some little crossover sections. So how much would this... So rather than building the full line, because it is going to be super expensive, if I went to here with this, and then connect you in there, connect you in there, so it's just long enough that I can pull it all in, and then signal-wise... Or do we do waypoints? So if I did that, how does that affect this? That, okay, it works perfect. But obviously, I don't want the signals here. Right. So you want a signal there. And you want a signal there. Perfect. So that's the little crossover there for this route. I then got to do one here. Now, where would be the best option for this? Maybe just here? So track wise going just here. Ooh, I'm out of cash. I'm out of cash. Not for long. Boom. Then signals. I'm out of cash! <laughs> but it, it still does that. I still need a signal there. And then we should make a, a huge amount of money right now as the train gets to uh, London. So this station here, or well, this, this bus stop here, only really gets passengers when people get off the train. That's when you see the bulk of the passengers coming in. So I can't pay for the whole route just yet, and I don't want to get any more loans. Because I'm already spending like nearly 70 grand right now on a loan. I don't really want any more. So this should do fine. Two trains on this should be fine. So this is going to come in right now. How much does this train make now? Full load from Birmingham to London. Wait, nobody? Wait, what happened? Oh, wait, did it? No, we did make money, right? I think it did. I think we just kind of slightly missed it. Okay, okay. So that's there like that. So those two little crossover points are now in place. Eventually we'll be set up double lines. But until I can afford that, this is what we can only do. Now, we'll wait for this train to get back to Birmingham. And then, depending on what money we've got, I'll buy as much of the second train as I can. It might not contain as many carriages, but at least we can get a second train on the go. Now, there's a lot of people here waiting to go to Birmingham. I think the train's completely full, right? We have a completely full train right now from London to Birmingham. Nobody is going to get off and no one's going to get on at Cambridge. Actually, no, some people could get off here. Sorry, some people could get off. 
Turns out, no, nobody got off. <laughs> so this is the most money we can actually make on this route. The furthest distance. So we'll keep an eye on this. We'll keep an eye on it. Now, are these going dying down slightly? Not really. It will take some, some doing. But the road network is turning a profit. The road network is turning a profit. The train network is not slightly because of uh, what we've just set up and done. So let's go away for this now and get back. So let me check my lines in general. So they're all making money. It's just the expenses and the infrastructure is going against us and even our bank loan is, is as well. So it looks like we could add more to the London loop. The Birmingham one is slowing down. But there's a lot of people on these stops there. So it does take a little bit of a while. Right, let's see how much money we make here then. I'm expecting over 300,000. That's what I'm expecting. I don't know how true that's going to be. I don't know how true that's going to be. So, come on please. Hurry up. Hurry up. Three hundred and twenty-five thousand. Damn. Right. Okay. So let's let's figure this out then. Let's figure this out. If we're making a twenty-four thousand pound profit or dollar profit, and if we're making one hundred fifty thousand profit here, they both pay for the loan expense. So by that logic, I can maybe borrow another million. To then fund a second train. And then we make even more cash. Right, I've just borrowed another million. I'm going to clone this train. So, line. Manage the lot. No, sorry. Manage the vehicles. Not enough money to clone the trains. Oh, snap. Right, I'm not going to borrow any more cash. We'll wait for this train to get to Cambridge. Hopefully, it uh, unloads some people and we make some money from it. How much do I need then? Like maybe maybe it's like 1.1 million. Right, in it comes anyway. Come on, Mr. Train. Hurry up. Hurry up. Makes no cash. So we have to wait for this to get to London. So once I've bought the second train, all the money that we start earning will slowly start expanding this train line to being double lines. Because the longer they are, the, l the less time they have to wait for the other train to pass by. You know what I mean? So considering that I've borrowed more money, we're not really losing that much cash that quick. So it goes to show you that the bus routes kind of hold up to their own. But they don't pay for the expense of the train until the train's completed its route. Which it's coming in right now anyway, as you can now see. I just want to clone the train. Not enough money! Not enough money. Alright, here we go. Still not enough. Wow, that train must be... Um... Oh, it's because I added more carriages onto it. I just realized. Okay. Right, let's buy it ourselves. So, steam... Add passenger. So, how much until about a milli? 36. Oh, I was still thinking it's a 36 capacity. So, put this on the Birmingham route. There we go. So, the problem is, right, the train will load up and it will go to here and it will stop there. And it has to wait for this train to leave Cambridge to go up to here and past it. So, it is a bit of a long-winded kind of wait, which is why we then need to spend all of our profits right now, all money that we get in into doubling up on the lines that's what we need to do so the train's going fully loaded <laughs> good stuff so we'll now see the little crisscross over happening in in, in, uh, in real time so the train's now leaving this train's now on the way so they should do the old crisscross here as we wait for them to come in 
So uh, it's actually quite perfect timing where they might still be able to carry on because they've already gone past the signals. So you ready for this, boys? You ready for this? So here's the one train right now. Here's the second one. So that goes over. Now this will pass this signal before this one gets there, hopefully. As we now see. So I don't think there'll be any slowing down, right? Damn. Now if that train was still coming down, that train would have stopped there. But that was perfect. I couldn't have planned that better if, even if I tried. Holy moly, that was perfect. So additional train on the route right now, which means we should be making a little bit more cash. And I'll try and add the additional carriages to the second train when I can. Uh, does it make any money here? It's, it's, nobody wants to go to Cambridge. I mean, I could set up a, a bus route here, but it does connect to the majority of Cambridge anyway. But it does make sense. These cities are quite large. Uh, they are quite large. Oh, they're growing over this side of London as well. Interesting. Very interesting. So these bus stops still got vast amounts of people on them. Uh, trains now approaching over here in Birmingham. Where it makes a nice chunk of cash. The trains are uh, approaching over here in London. Where this will make a nice chunk of cash as well. We got a nice little system on the go. Nice little system on the go. So as this now comes in. Bam. So it's not a huge amount of money. But it's money that I can now slowly start to spend. On increasing the train network. So we'll bring it to there. I won't quite saw anything else out just yet uh, we'll have to do a double platform eventually so from here so we kind of lose that now so now it's a case of waiting for more money to come in so as soon as we can double up we can then have a third train a fourth train and there's no problem we use Cambridge Cambridge will have two platforms when they load and unload both sides so where's the train then? Ah, this is interesting. So this train's coming through Cambridge right now, which this mean, means that this train now has to wait. So this is what, this is why I need the double lines. This is what this will get rid of. The fact that it now has to kind of completely wait. Before it was perfect timing, but now it is a little bit of a waiting game. So where this train could be at Cambridge by now, but it has to now wait. So that's why we gotta now wait for the money to come in to do the double line system. Very good, sir. Very good. Very good. So it's a little bit of a waiting game. So how are we doing anyway then? Apart from my expenses and my rail network, uh, money's going through the roof. Because of all the new infrastructure and maintenance and uh, the additional vehicles. They will eventually turn a profit, those vehicles. But we are spending big, big cash. But the fact that the trains now have to wait means we have to now, you know, literally wait for the additional money to come in. So stopping... Oh, we actually unloaded over here and got 12 grand. Not a huge amount. But once we start transporting more people, we'll start making more money from Cambridge. So I don't think I can get a third train in until we've got... Uh, well, I could get a third train in, but it wouldn't be kind of a good idea until I got... More connections up. Maybe we should have, with our additional money coming in, thought about adding more carriages to this train. So if I added one, two, I'd need 280 big ones in the back. Now, where's London? London's just here, and that train is now making its way down. Is it enough to get two carriages on board? Or even one for that matter? I can afford the one. So one's better than not get buying the two. So that will help us out slightly. That will dramatically help us out. Now, will this train pass here before this train passes there? Who's going to be the one to stop? Who's going to be the one to stop here, boys? Place your bets. So it might be this train over here might be the one to stop. Oh, no, 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 no. That train's going to pass it first, which means you have to stop. 
Now, this will load up some extra passengers, which it couldn't do before. So we have some extra transports to London. So trains coming in. Makes a bit of cash. Picks up a few extra passengers. And off it goes. Right. Let the money continue. So our current lines then. Still making profit off these lines. The London loop could still do with a few additional vehicles on that route. It really could. So we're making money uh, profit on the road network. The railway network, not... Well, we do, but you've got to wait until they drop off more passengers. So they're about to crisscross right now. Off they go. Let me just see some beautiful money coming in again. So I don't know if this will be enough to... Uh, Oh, actually, I don't know how much this is actually going to make. 211. Okay, not bad. That's now going to load up to go back. That has stopped off. And then going back to Birmingham is where the big money gets made. So we're in an awkward phase right now where we're making profit, but it's not enough to fund the expansions that I want. I could keep... It's cheaper to buy the road vehicles and keep expanding those loops, but they don't really get big returns back. Whereas I want to spend the money on new carriages, but because they're so expensive, it takes a longer time to be able to have the money to do that. You know what I mean? And I could get another loan, but at this point, I've got 8 million in loans. I don't really want any more loans, but you know what? I'm going to get another million, right? And we'll manage the vehicles here. We'll edit this one. And we'll add in... Another, so it's 48 capacity, 54. We'll give it, we'll make it a 60 capacity. That train's now 60 capacity. We'll make this train 60 capacity. Which for this one, it's only one more carriage. So it's 120 passengers. We can go back and forth on the two trains. So with that additional money, I'm going to pause real quick. Select the station and configure it. And... Oh, no, we don't need to configure this one because it's an end route. So what I can do for here is just bring this naturally in. Right. And then we're going to delete and then connect these up. And then for signal-wise, we have to do signals every so often leading in and out. So a signal there, a signal here, and then right at the end, a signal there. So almost we're on the way to Cambridge how far is that train from stopping it's about to stop again so we'll get a nice big injection of cash and hopefully the whole London to Cambridge is double lines so that will be a big help for us so a nice injection of cash I keep the game playing so it gives times for the trains to get back over there so Cambridge is the one that's going to need to have a double platform so bringing you up to here, we'll quickly delete this, bringing you directly in. Right now, I need to do that double platform real quick, otherwise, that's not gonna not gonna work here. So tracks, and we go one, two, three, four for now, and then platforms, passenger. There we go. So that leaves me with the money you can now see. And then for this, we're just going to have to criss it back in like that. Because I can't afford to do the run going back that way. But in terms of signals now. Signals then go like this. Um, we'll do one more just here and there. And then. Yeah, that's all I need for those. Now for this. You just... Well, the station will be the one that keeps them there. The state they'll, they'll stop at the station. But just to be on the shore side, I'll do that one leading out. For it having to wait. So, there, there, there'll be no interruption right now from Cambridge to London. There'll be no actual interruption on the, on the train line from Cambridge to London. 
Okay, something's broke. Oh, yeah, something is broke because I haven't told them when they come to Cambridge for this time to load on that side. Oof. Kind of forgot about that bit. Kind of forgot about that bit. So, yeah, no interruption for from Cambridge to London back and forth. Until I can afford the Birmingham one, that's just how it's going to be. So they'll only crisscross just then here. So this train now has got 60 people on board. 60 people on board. And then we'll see how we what we get up to moving forward. So it should be a little bit more frequent. And as soon as I can start affording to uh, build this as well, we're going to be on to a winner. We're going to be on to a winner, baby. Right. More passengers can now be transported. Which means more money can be made more frequently. Now, I might. I don't know whether to buy a few more vehicles on this London run. Once I get a little bit of cash coming in. But they're on the other platform right now. Not big stacks being made. Because everybody wants to go from Birmingham to London. Birmingham's got bigger, by the way. It's nearly 900 in part in size. That's before I add any. Any of the supply to it. So that's now heading back. With 60 people on board. 200 people waiting. It's a good problem to have. I could now technically buy the third train. Because they'll kind of backlog themselves on this one. But uh, I'd rather wait till we've um, done the full length of the train tracks. So this will be a nice 300 grand coming in again. Oh, it could be a slightly a bit more because uh, we've upped the train size to 60. Maybe 350? It depends if any of them come from Cambridge. 346. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. And that's now heading back with 60 on board. So where's the other train? The other train is just there. Now this train has the ability to go straight to Cambridge now. It won't stop here even though this train's coming through because this tra and this train will go all the way to the signal. Oh, no, actually, do you know what? They'll crisscross about. They'll crisscross at the station. Perfect. Perfect. Less delays. Less delays on these routes. So train coming in. A little bit of money because you got a few people who do want to go to Cambridge. And then off it goes again. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista. Now, does this train here make any money? A few pennies, but the big cash is in London to Birmingham still. Man, those cities have gone through the roof, haven't they? What's Plymouth like? Plymouth's got quite a high starting population as well. Any of the other cities? Oh, Liverpool's got a high one. High target population. As Glasgow? It seems quite big. No. Dundee? Dundee is quite big as well. Inverness. I'm looking at the starting populations. It's quite impressive to see which ones kind of are going big. It does mean it's going to be expensive to build in those cities because I have to delete stuff to place stuff in. But look at how big London's now got. Yikes. Right, more money being made. Another drop off in London. Uh, train to Birmingham is slightly on the way. And uh, yeah, you can see the money coming in right now. So we might buy then is it worth it buying a few more vehicles or just holding out until we've got better road vehicles do you reckon that's probably the best way to do it and then just spend our money on adding more carriages to the trains this train's about to come in About to get some more big cha-chings. 365,000. It's glorious, isn't it? 
it is glorious. It's a great start to our connection. So, ways in which we can expand off this. If I wanted to go from Birmingham down into Oxford, this here I can turn into a big V or a big Y junction to go in. Uh, if I want to go from Cambridge up to Sheffield, there's a, there's a Y there. There's a, a Y connection here we can do to go into Ipswich and to Norwich. London will eventually expand across the River Thames and do another station here leading down to Brighton. So... There's all ways in which we can do many of these expansions, which is really, really exciting. Everything just costs money. These are going to crisscross here again, and they're not going to stop. It's all it's perfect when it all comes together. It is perfect when it all slowly comes together. So, I think we'll end it here. It's, it's a challenge. You, see, you know, you can understand right now why it's such a big challenge. And I have got a big loan that I am going to have to pay off. But it's only 90 grand a year, okay? It's only 90 grand a year. Granted, some years we don't really make that much big money on rail. It depends where the trains currently are and where they're dropping off. But um, it's not a huge problem at the moment. Next episode, then, we'll look to try to get a double line set up from Birmingham to Cambridge, which will then mean we'll have uninterrupted services from London to Birmingham via Cambridge. We'll try and get a third train on that route. Uh, or I might just add more carriages to the two current trains. That's what I might probably end up doing. We'll also look towards and how ways in which we can expand and come off uh, Birmingham as well in itself. Because I want to use Birmingham as like a, a major hub. And uh, so I can see it's building a train station or a train line on the left hand side of it. Which goes in different kind of directions and locations. Which will be uh, pretty exciting. But uh, we've got a new train that we can now utilize. A new engine. So the trains might be slightly faster. And a new passenger car as well. So... Uh, 100% we can now carry more people on the trains. We just need money. So until next time, guys, I will see you all soon. So, good bye.